Good afternoon, Pio Nation. I hope you're doing well today. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Married Ecology Sports. Our League of Legends team has returned. Uh, so in just a matter of moments, we will be going up against Northern Michigan University as part of the College League of Legends Spring 2022 season. Now, last week, the Pioneers went up against a very fierce GM-ranked team. This week, it's a little bit more favorable. A couple of diamond players and a few silver players. So this would be a great challenge uh, for the uh, League of Legends team. So speaking of that team, let's take a look at who will be playing today. So we will have in the top lane, WRS freshman Wade Stevenson. At Jungle, we will have freshman Bryce Heatman, Scrimpo. Scrimpo, I will never get that pronunciation correctly. Uh, at mid, we will have junior Leah Wieczysikowski, Yuki1234. At AD carry, we will have junior uh, Stephanie Saunders, Radio Boy Kid. And at support, we will have sophomore Bethany Holstein, Maxiboo101. And we have our head coach, Derek Games, and our League of Legends coach, Brandon Larson. But, all right, we are getting everyone into the lobby. I'm trying to get into uh, spectator mode here. Uh, looks like um, Northern Michigan is wanting to go with red side for game one very interesting choice so they want those counter picks so it'll be interesting to see uh, how that goes uh, while we are waiting for the game to actually start up and get everyone to lobby we'll just do a couple of quick uh, announcements so we are always looking for players uh, for our esports program so if you are a high school senior and interested in esports please be sure to fill out our recruitment form at bit.ly slash mc recruit we have teams in Fortnite, Hearthstone, League of Legends, Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League, Super Smash Brothers, and Valorant. Uh, we have our dedicated facility. We've expanded our coaching staff. Uh, so we have a lot of opportunities available. If you are a Marietta College student, just please be feel, feel free to email me at William, N at Marietta, William M at Marietta.edu or you can email uh, our coach Derek Games, DRG001 at Marietta.edu. And of course, if you are a high school senior, we do have scholarships available to try uh, to be a part of our esports program. In fact, our next trial date will be next Saturday, part of our admissions open house event. So if you are coming to campus, then you can schedule a tryout while you are here. So the first thing to do is to fill out our recruitment form at bit.ly slash MC recruit, apply for admission by going to marietta.edu slash apply. And then the important one is to go to our uh, scholarship tryout form bit.ly slash MC esports tryout uh, to set that up. If you're not able to come to campus next Saturday, we will have a set of online tryouts on Saturday, February 19th. Uh, so you can select that option and that will be through our Discord server so you can arrange a, a time that way. Uh, but all right, looks like we have everyone in the, the lobby. So we may be starting very soon. So I'm gonna make sure I have the, the audio all set up and, and good to go. So give me one second here to make sure that you'll be able to, to hear the game whenever it actually does get started. That's so looking good there. But yeah, so, so for this first game, Marietta will be on the blue side. Northern Michigan uh, will be on the uh, red side. So I'm just going to be waiting for uh, the ready checks. I guess I'll mention while we are waiting... Uh, there is a bit of a schedule update. We were supposed to play against Defiance College in Rainbow Six earlier today, but that has been rescheduled to next Wednesday at 6 o'clock. So if you are wanting to get to see some Rainbow Six action, uh, that will be next Wednesday, 6 o'clock. We will put that up on our social media channels. So if you are not following us on any of our social media channels, then this would be a good time to do so. You can follow us here on Twitch. We also have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, TikTok. I think that's all of them. All at Marietta Esports. So you can just go to each site and just tack, just tackle Marietta Esports at the end. And then you can hit that like or follow or subscribe button or anything uh, along those lines. Yeah. Okay, so still waiting for... That's the wrong button. Hold on. Okay, let's we'll make sure I didn't click the right... Okay, good there. All right, so haven't seen any ready checks 
just yet. So still waiting for things to get started, but it could be any second now. Uh, I know the team has been working on um, getting everything picked up and working on their improving the, the champ select so they have an idea of what they want to ban, what they want to pick. But we're starting to see the ready checks come out. Myriad College is ready. Northern Michigan University is ready. So now I'm just waiting for someone to hit that go button. Anytime now. And here we go, folks. The champion select. So let's see what Marietta will be banning first. And they're going to be taking out that set from the get-go. Set is one of those, a very strong top laner, but we've also seen him at the support. There's the Ari ban. We expect that. Um, we know that Yuki loves to play the Ari. We're going to see Quirky being banned out. The Cho'Gath is targeting a little bit in the top lane. And Lee Sin's going to be taking out the jungle. Now we'll see. Okay. And there's the Seraphine ban. And I believe the Pioneers anticipated two of those three bans uh, by Northern Michigan. So now we'll see what Marietta wants to prioritize first. They have about just 10 seconds, so they're going to have to pick something soon. And they are going to go with that Senna uh, in the top. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry, not the top, not, not top lane Senna. I am so sorry, folks. Uh, we're going to see that Senna in the bot lane. Now, will it be ADC? Will it be support? Who knows? We know that both Radio Boy Kid and Maxibu have played Senna in their respective roles. So, it is going to be a good flex pick uh, for the bot lane. And we're going to see that Xin Zhao in the jungle for Northern Michigan. Not going to be able to play that Lee Sin, so he's going to bring out Jin Zhao, and Xin Zhao instead. So what will be the second pick? And it looks like we may be seeing Aatrox in the top lane. It's not locked in. No, never mind. They're going to bring out the Misfortune. So now Marietta has some decisions to make. Do they want that Senate to be the ADC going against Misfortune? Or are they going to put that support and bring out something maybe like a Caitlyn that has a little bit more a better range advantage against Misfortune? We got about five seconds left. And they are going to bring to Caitlyn. So that is going to be a Senna support. Radio Boy Kid has been playing uh, a good amount of Caitlyn lately. And it's also going to give Senna a maximum chance to carry a little bit with Senna as well. Now we're going to see what the last... And, it's, they're not the, oh, sorry. and they're going to go with the Orn in the top lane. So that's a blind pick, but it's probably a good move just to make sure that Northern Michigan cannot ban out um, WRS's remaining uh, champions. And we may be seeing... Well, they're going to just picking different options into that Orn. But it looks like going to be fighting type... Uh, so they're going to lock in that Camille against the Orn, so uh, the Aram of the Reaper will have that advantage of the top lane just going up against that tanky Orn. Now we'll see what the remaining bands uh, are going to be. Marina still needs to pick their jungle and mid. Uh, meanwhile, Northern Michigan still needs to pick, looks like their top and mid. So Diana's going to be taken away. Uh, I know both uh, Yuki and... Scrimpo has the and there's a dodge. So I have to see what's going on there. I'm not so sure why there was a uh, a dodge. Okay, so it looks like there was a 
a DC. Um, yeah, so those are a DC. So we'll just kind of reset this real quick and hopefully we'll get back in. So let's see here. So we're going to reset that. Let me check on the team real quick just to make sure everything's okay. So just give me one second, folks. Okay, so yeah, it was a minor disconnect. Going to be logging back in. Uh, so he should be here. He's logging back in as we speak, folks. We apologize for the, uh, the delay. It just, you know, sometimes uh, these things happen. Uh, we did double check the rules. So all the bands and picks up to that Diana band are still legit. Uh, so there'll be the same picks and bands from up to that point. And then we'll see uh, what happens. Yeah, it looks like he's kind of stuck in, which is interesting because he logged out, but it then still says that he's online. So they're going to try to uh, get him back in here as soon as possible. Okay, now he's back in. Now just getting back into the LCS order. Okay, so we should be starting up in just a second. Once again, I apologize uh, for the uh, the issue. I mean, disconnects happen. Hopefully it does not happen during the game. But all right, so it's gonna be the same uh, bands and picks from before. We should be able to just go through everything here. Fight you can't win. All right, so just gotta go through the, the motions again. That should have it should have been an orn. I don't know why that was a misclick. We're gonna get through this eventually, guys. That should not have been a hecarim. That should have been an orn. So they're gonna dodge and try this again. All right, we're going to try this again. Recreate the lobby. Well, not recreate the lobby, but rejoin. All 
All right, take three, folks. Hey, never pick a fight you can't win. Okay, getting through the bands a little bit faster. I return to my training. Okay. This is in jail. There's the misfortune. Lock in the orn. There's the orn. And we we'll see the Camille. Okay, now next will be the Diana band. Okay, so now what will Marietta band? They're gonna take out Ziggs. Very interesting choice for the band in the, the mid lane. And there's gonna be a Lux ban. So it does open up the possibility of Hecarim if Marietta wanted to play it. And they're going to take out the Tom Kench, so thinking that might be a Tom Kench support. And it's looking like they're going to go with the Nautilus down in the uh, uh, support. So the question is, will they go with that Hecarim? Because I mean, Zinjiao has already been picked for um, for the Michigan, so it's not like they can pick a jungler to counter it. But they are going to go with that Hecarim. So now, what will Miyuki play in mid? And it's gonna be a Lilia mid. Interesting. Okay. Can't say I've seen her in mid a lot, but I think I'm a little behind on stuff, but this is interesting. Now we'll see what Northern Michigan will select here. And they're gonna play the Syndra into the Lilia, it looks like. All right. Um, I'm just gonna make sure everyone gets their swaps in. There we go. Okay. So we got the swaps in. So finally, folks, after 15 minutes and three attempts, but we finally got through champ select. Maybe one of these days we'll get through Champ Select without any major problems. But at least it looks like Marietta got the picks that they wanted. So just kind of looking at this, um, I like the bands that, that Marietta did. Uh, I know they were looking at Set, Corky, and uh, Lee Sin were pretty uh, powerful champions in the respective lanes with the what the players are going with. The Tom Kench, I think, was a great selection because I know um, Northern Michigan's 
the port plays a lot of top lane, so Tom Kench could be a really uh, good pick down there. And overall, I, I kind of like the uh, the selection here that Marietta has. So uh, the real question is going to be like how Miyuki plays uh, on the Lilia. So I think the the main factor of this match is going to be in that mid lane, but also seeing uh, how Maxi does on the the Sana. So it's more of a carry uh, type support. But so uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a very interesting matchup with. Uh, so with what North Ambition is going with, I mean, it's a pretty standard comp. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. You've got Nas with tanking. Uh, Camille and are going to be more uh, damage type champions. you got Misfortune and Cinder in the back line. Uh, there is that range advantage that Radio Boy Kid will have over the Misfortune. But, but yeah, I think we'll, we'll see. So while we're waiting, I uh, guess we'll go over just a couple of reminders of things. I mean, a few events that may be uh, going on. So as we said, uh, next week, go ahead and get the link back up here. So next week will be our in-person tryout. So if you are a high school senior coming to our February open house that's run by our admissions department, uh, you can schedule a time to come to our esports facility and try out for a scholarship in person. Uh, the main thing with that is you do need to fill out our uh, tryout form, bit.ly slash MC eSport tryout to schedule uh, that tryout. Now, if you're not coming to campus uh, next Saturday, then we will have another set of online tryouts through our Discord server, which will be on Saturday, February 19th, two weeks from next Saturday, so three weeks from today. So you would need to fill out our recruitment form, bit.ly slash MC recruit, apply for admission, um, and then schedule the tryout bit.ly slash MC Esports tryout. You do not have to be accepted uh, before the tryouts, but um, it is a little tricky to award the scholarship until you've been accepted for admission. So you might as well go ahead and apply. And applying does not necessarily mean that you are absolutely coming. We would love to have you come to Marietta College to play on our, uh, any of our esports teams, whether it's Fortnite or Hearthstone or League of Legends or Overwatch or Rocket League or Rainbow Six, Valorant, Smash. Uh, we may even be considering other teams as well. So we can offer scholarship opportunities for some of, for several of those teams, but you just have to kind of fill it out and show us what you got. So right now we're waiting for uh, the champions to load. We are getting into the Loading screen, just gonna get the UI set up once we have that ready. These loading screens are very quick. But okay, I think we are ready to go. So game one of this best of three series, Marietta College versus Northern Michigan Marietta will be on the blue side, Northern Michigan will be on the red side. Summoner's Rift. It does not look like we're going to see... doesn't seem like any invades, at least. 30 seconds until minions spawn. So it looks like Marietta will start on their, their red side. Actually, both teams seem to be uh, going to start on their red side. Like Marietta took a little bit longer to take out the jungle, so 
That's definitely going to telegraph to Northern Michigan that Mary to start up on their red side. Meanwhile, Camille got back pretty early, so I don't know if Mary is going to be able to tell that Zinjiao started with the red side buff. So, in the bot lane, it is going to be interesting. I would expect to see Maxi trying to do a lot of poking on the tank games while giving Radio Boy Kid a chance. And Flash was burned very quickly by Radio Boy Kid. I don't know if that was necessary to dodge that E, but that's that, now that's going to open up ganking potential uh, for Northern Michigan. Right now we're seeing WRS is uh, pushing pretty well. It's just slightly behind on CS, but uh, handling the, the wave pretty well. Probably need to make sure to get some vision there in case there is a gank opportunity. Maxi is already very low to healthy. Ninth is ticking, and that's going to be enough for our first blood for Northern Michigan. in but Maxi and Radio Boy are gonna have to be careful with that see Yuki's taking a lot of damage seeing a slight gank attempt in the mid lane not gonna get any summoners for it but just trying to get some poke on her you know, Darius is gonna have to flash to get away from Camille Not as being as tanky as he is. Rainbow is gonna have to be careful. It goes down uh, to Yeah, that's a double kill for Fish Sivert. Not the kind of start you would want to see in the bot lane. Things are coming out. Scrimpo was trying to make a play, but not going to get there in time. Bot lane is going to be able to back out and buy up. Right now, we're already seeing about a 2k gold difference because of the three kills and some of the CS differentials we're seeing, especially in the top and bot lanes. And WRSO will go down uh, to the Camille. Marina's always struggled with that early game, so if they can try to not be too far behind, they may be able to make it up in the mid and late game. So that does seem to be where a lot of the practices have been uh, along those lines, where they fall behind early on, but they're able to make it up in the, the mid and late. So if Marina just came on, then I think we can see some opportunities. Maybe seeing a bit of fight in the bot lane, which Yuji um, is heading down there to try to help, but with all the wards and the visions, it seems like. Uh, okay, we're just gonna see all the top lane here. But it's taking a lot of damage. Not much he can do. Wave is pushed up pretty hard, so he's trying to go up there, but just gonna be losing on CS. But as I was saying, uh, Yuki was trying to help, but with all the vision, they were able to uh, thwart that. And Yuki actually goes down to the Syndra ult in the mid lane. Sinjiao may be looking for a little bit of invading. Lily's gonna, uh, well, Lily, Yuki's gonna have to pop the teleports. 
to just get back into lane. But right now, Northern Michigan is playing very well, uh, very aggressive with uh, their plays. Hecklin's both gonna try to make a play. Not gonna get anything out of Syndra though. spotted out and they are going to fall back but Marriott is putting a lot of resources into this bot lane you know he is going to get spotted out looking to maybe do a play. taking this opportunity to put down a deep ward knowing that the mid and jungle were down in the, the red side camp We're gonna see Hecker coming in. Popping the ulti. Flash is gonna be operated, but can shut down onto the misfortune. And forcing a flash by the Nautilus. But Syndra and Xin Zhao are there as well. Will we see a continuation of this fight? Syndra is saying, yes, I really want to fight this. Gets the stun onto Miyuki, but she's gonna walk away from that. And they may be trying to stir up the dragon. Jackson does see this. He's going to get hooked. And he's going to take a ton of damage. He gets finished off by Xin Zhao. Trigo is going to be coming, but he's going to get taken down too. Syndra popping the ulti to finish him off. And this is going to be a Mountain Drake for Northern Michigan. If you trying to dodge all of the, the poke and this Fortune Elf comes out, takes her down too, and they secure the dragon. But we're seeing a ton of poke damage coming out uh, by Northern Michigan. I mean, we're seeing about a 5,000 gold difference, uh, less than 10 minutes in the game. See there, the ulti comes out by Nautilus, ends up taking down uh, Radio Boy Kid, and Max just barely gets out alive. But right now, we are seeing all three lanes where Marietta is struggling. The new ult will come down, take down. WRSO. Widen the league, getting some of the turret plates way ahead on CS. But you never know. Marietta can get a couple of shutdowns. We're going to see a temp right here in the mid lane. Bot ultra being used. But Cinder does take down one, but shutdown will go to Shrimpko. We 
Urzos has to flash away, but he is still alive. Person for uh, Gordon Mission Team has their mythic items ready to go. And doing a wombo combo with the depth charge and misfortune's ult. And Xin Zhao might have gotten caught. Great knockup, but, but he gets it off before he goes down. But it's still a 2v1. Yuki is there to try to help. The Senna ult comes out with the shield and put some damage out. But Shrimp Coast is going to fall. I don't know if there's not much. Yeah, not much to do. They're trying to get the kills, but it's just not winnable fights at this point. With as far behind as they at, they can't even do a 2v2. They're going to have to have more numbers to get that advantage in the team fights. Northern Michigan will secure the first tower uh, in the bot lane. Yeah, we're already seeing the Rift Girl going to be summoned in the mid lane to take out that tower. Control of Marietta's red side jungle. Heavily warded in all areas. Maxi is there to help. Ulti has to come out, but Camille did not take a lot of damage. And still hanging around. And the ulti is going to come out for Camille, but this is not going to be enough. Maxi has to flash away. Orange is going to be trying there to help. It pops the ulti, but it's not going to connect with anyone. Actually, it might have hit the Syndra just a little bit, but... It was just kind of used as a disengage. And now we're seeing about 12,000 gold difference. It's going to be very difficult for Mary to come behind. There's a ton of wards in Mary this red jungle. If they go anywhere in there, they're going to get caught. And you're dealing with a couple of deep wards in Mary this blue jungle, too. Doing a lot of damage left and right. Trying to get that inner tower. And they're going to continue to split push in both the top and bottom lanes. And they just popped three, uh, two ultis right there with the depth charge and the, uh, the barrage. And this fortune is getting a double kill with that, making her very scary. I think Gordon Vichy is going to try to finish the game here. Two of the Pioneers are already down. Camille can 1v1 anyone he wants to. Never mind! Yuki gets the shutdown on the Camille!
But while that was going on, the inhibitor for Marina does go down to the bot side. So now they got that super minion threat going down there. It's going to be really hard to try to contest anything in the top half of the jungle, especially with Baron being up in about two and a half minutes. We could see Michigan, uh, Northern Michigan going for an early Baron attempt. They were hanging that earlier. So I could see them trying to set some vision and maybe go for Baron right when it spawns because not much Baron is going to be able to do to handle that. We see Sin Zhao maybe setting up, uh, at least getting the rip here only. Yeah, just gonna be... Uh, ...toys there, but meanwhile, the ult is gonna be coming out for Maxibu. Trying to stop the Camille. But, oh yeah, there's the... They're going straight for the rip here, they just spawn. And they may try to use this to... They may try to use this to finish the game, actually. I can see them uh, trying to push through the top of mid lanes. So we will secure that Rift Herald. And now we're going to see a split push in the top and mid lanes. And they're going to use that Rift Herald in that top lane. The deal right now is going to try to 2v1. Takes down Maxi. And we're seeing the rest of the Michigan getting the stun off on two. And ults are being popped left and right. There goes the barrage. And WRSO is the only one that's left. Does connect with the ulti, but it's just not going to be enough. So he's going to fall, and that is going to be the ace. Nexus Towers do go down, and there is going to go the Nexus. So just a very strong performance by uh, Northern Michigan, ending the game about 19 and a half minutes. But, uh, yeah, just a very strong performance there. Just winning the early game and just snowballing that lead. Just kind of a challenge when Northern Michigan was winning in all three lanes. So, Marina's going to have to find an answer uh, for that. So, I think they're talking some things over. But I'm going to go ahead and get back into the lobby here to get set up for game two. So, Marina will get to choose the side. All right, so I think they're talking things over. So we're gonna just take a very short break um, while we're waiting for them to get ready. And then we'll have game two up here in just a second, so don't go away. We may be back in like two seconds, but I'm just gonna check on the team real quick. So we'll take a very uh, quick break while we're, we're waiting for them.
All right, and welcome back. Uh, we're getting everyone into the lobby. It looks like Merida has chosen to be on the red side uh, this time. Let me go ahead and make sure everything is cleared and ready to go for the champion select for whenever they are, are ready. We're just getting everyone into position. So they're going over some adjustments on how they're going to handle. I mean, that Nautilus was really good. I mean, I, I, to be fair, like all three lanes uh, very good by Northern Michigan. Uh, so we'll see how that adjusts Marietta's strategies. We went over a couple things that they can do to adjust for it. And, and especially to do if you play from behind. Because a lot of it was, I think, uh, they were trying to force plays when they were behind. And it came back to blow them up in the face. At least that's my observation. And I think they recognize that too. That they were trying to or stuff when it were when the fights were unwinnable. All right, so we're getting one into the the lobby. But uh, so now we're just going to wait for the the ready checks and then we will get this uh get game 2 underway. Still waiting for the ready checks. Anytime now. Actually, they're not even LCS order. Give me a second. Hold on. Okay, there. Just making sure that they got into the correct um, rock lineup order here because they're not in the, the right position. So they're going to try to get all that set up real quick. But yeah, we should be starting in just a few minutes. They're in the right order. Northern Michigan is ready. So now we're waiting for Marietta to be ready. As they say, yes, we will get this game underway. I think. It is still, I think they're still going over a couple of things with the plans for the, the picks and bans. That is, I guess, at least. Still waiting for Mary to say they're ready, folks. So as soon as I know they're ready, I will let you know. Any second now. Now I'm married to saying they're ready, so we should be starting any second now. And here we go, folks. Champion select for game two, and why is it not showing up on here? Give me a second to figure out what is going on with that. Fine, but why is the game not showing? Well, the R is being banned. I'm not so sure why the. Uh... And there is the Nautilus ban that we expected. Trying to figure out what is going on here. 
Nice. We're gonna see Cho'Gath being banned. I return to my training. But Lee Sin's gonna be banned. Okay. Seraphim be banned by North Michigan once again. Corky being banned once again. So we're gonna see I rarely actually be in prior picks in the, the top lane. And it looks like Meredith's gonna be prior picking the the Caitlyn for ADC. There we go. Okay, I there we go. We got a fix. I'm not too sure what happened there with the um, the capture. But there we go. And it looks like we're gonna see Nico being played. This is gonna be interesting. This could be a Nico support. It could be a Nico mid. I have no idea what they're gonna be going with. But I guess we will find out. And with the Nautilus being banned, it looks like they're going to go with the Pike down in the bot lane along with Jin. They haven't locked in the Jin yet. Okay, now they've locked in the Jin. They're just going to keep with that Orn in the top lane and go up against the Irelia, it looks like. Locked in yet. Now it's locked in. So we'll see what Marietta will ban next. But there's still mid and jungle, it looks like. The so rest will take out the Ziggs. See Morgana being banned. Interesting. They do not want to play against Morgana without support, but I don't think Maxi plays Morgana. Fear they Meredith's gonna decide they're gonna take out that Syndra. It was we saw Not My House doing a very good job on that Syndra in the last game. take out the Lulu so a lot of support bands they are trying so they think that is a Nico mid and Scrimpo is going to be bringing out the Vi for jungle that's gonna make the question what is gonna be the mid is it gonna be Nico is it gonna be something else we're gonna see in at least in the jungle for Or Northern Michigan. So what will be the mid lane? They're probably anticipating it's a Nico mid. And they're gonna go with an Akali in the 
move in. So now, what does Miyuki want to play against the Akali? And it's gonna be Lilia. So it is a Nico support. So this will be very interesting here. Maxime does play Nico. And Vi is a little bit tankier than the Hecarim from last time, so we'll see if Krimko is going to be able to uh, make some plays there. All right, looks like, oh wait. Oh, there's an adjustment. So that's going to be a Kali top and I rarely admit they flex the uh, the Irelia, so they're gonna put the Akali in the top lane. Very interesting choice here. But, all right, so now we just have to wait for the spectator delay once again uh, before we get the match underway. This is a best of three series, so if Northern Michigan uh, does take this, they will take the series. But if Marietta does come back, we will go to a game three. If you think the Pioneers can take this, then show your support in the chat. Give them your energy, folks. But while we are waiting, just a couple of reminders. Next Saturday will be our admissions open house. So we will be offering scholarships to be a part of our esports program. So if you are coming to that open house, then you can uh, sign up ahead of time to schedule your tryout, which will take place after uh, the open house. So first, you'd want to fill out the recruitment form at bit.ly slash MC recruit, apply for admission. So go to marietta.edu slash apply, and then fill out the, uh, the tryout form bit.ly slash MC esport tryout. You do not have to be accepted to try out for the scholarship, but you do have to be accepted in order to receive uh, the scholarship. The QR codes are up on your screen as well. You can uh, put your phone up to the screens and fill out the, the forms uh, as necessary. So I would suggest just take a screenshot. That way you have them up um, for a later time. We also have this on our social media, on our uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram pages, so you can follow us there. Uh, we also have our YouTube channel where you can check out uh, all of our previous matches. Uh, so you can go to youtube.com slash Esports. I can say that now. We don't have to do a bit.ly link anymore because of your guys' support. Because you followed and subscribed uh, to our YouTube channel, we were able to get a custom URL. So we don't need to use the bit.ly link anymore. Speaking of following and subscribing, if you don't want to wait for the YouTube video to come out for our matches, uh, you can always subscribe to our Twitch channel here, which gives you instant access to all of our VODs, whether it was from yesterday or last week or uh, like our Rainbow Six match that we had earlier uh, this week. Uh, we have not been able to put it up on YouTube just yet. That should be coming out soon. So if you want to check it out now, you can subscribe to our Twitch channel uh, to make that happen. If you do not have the money for a Twitch subscription, uh, there is a thing called Prime Gaming. If you have Amazon Prime, you can create a free Twitch account, link it to your Amazon Prime account, and it gives you Prime Gaming, which gives you all sorts of perks, such as cool in-game items for specific titles, like League of Legends, for instance. Like Every now and then, they give you a big Twitch Prime capsule, which gives you champion skins. Uh, the, the champion, what am I thinking here? I can't remember what you call it. The shards. Yeah, the champion shards. That's what I'm talking about. Um, XP boost and so forth. Uh, you may get free games uh, from that. I was able to get a couple of games for free because of the Prime Gaming, but it also gives you a free sub that you can use to any channel you want, including Marietta Esports. So you can basically use that, and it gives you all the perks, including our custom emotes. You just have to remember to renew that subscription every month. But, all right, let's get into the game, folks. 
Marietta College versus Northern Michigan. Northern Michigan is going to be on the blue side. Marietta will be on the red side. Let's see if Marietta can take this and get to a game at three. To Summoner's Rift. There's some, see some pings coming out. I don't think Marietta is going to be looking for a bay. They're going to put uh, a control ward. They're going to put a ward down. Not a, yeah, they're going to put a ward down just to see uh, if there are any possible invades so they can prepare for it. sees a couple pings coming out. I think they're trying to anticipate where Vi will be starting. But it looks like uh, Vi will be starting on the blue side jungle and Elise will also start on the blue side jungle. We see a pretty good strategy by Northern Michigan just kind of waiting out a little bit to make it look like that they leashed. So it's a little bit more difficult to tell uh, which side the Big Horde is going to actually start. Although they're probably going to predict that uh, Meredith started on the blue side. We're seeing Yuki putting a lot of damage on Irelia, but we're seeing some trading going on there as well, having to pop the uh, corrupted potion. And Yuki's gonna have to pop both potions to get back to health. And we're gonna see the level two battle won by North Michigan in the bot lane. They start pushing up that lane pretty aggressively. And the only thing's coming out, they do spot out by. Kid is taking a good amount of health already at a just a little over half health. Still has a potion uh, and a biscuit to get some health back. Surprised she hasn't used it yet. And we're gonna see that gang contempt in the mid. First blood will go over to Michigan, locking down Yuki. It's gonna have to pop the flash and the heal, but here comes the Elise. Going to get spots, so they're gonna have to try to hug the tower. And maybe looking at a fourth, looking at a dive here. Maxi already extremely low in health, looking for the poke. Gonna have to flash in. Does get the kill, but is going to die in the process, so it's a one for one trade. Pike trying to be a little aggressive there and does get punished in the process. But unfortunately, Caitlyn does not get the assist for that, so all that goes for will go to uh, Nico. Had to pop a flash. I don't think that was a necessary flash uh, to get away from him, Polly. And Vi is going to be flashing in, knocking back up, and gets the kill onto Irelia. So the kill count is even, but it's still a thousand gold difference, and that's mainly because of the first blood bonus and the CS differential.
I say Jin's taking a lot of damage. You can try to look for a play, but they have to be careful. Elise is nearby, and I don't think they have any vision for it. They are going to back away a little bit. But here comes Elise trying to play Maxi Boot. Not in the right spot. Ult's going to be coming out for Irelia, but not going to connect. Maxibu is deep down there trying to do a 3v1 skin. I don't know what she's doing there. But it's not on the same page with Caitlyn. going down but Vi is right there to avenge Muki's death so it is a one for one trade pops the ulti in the process but it is worth it so Marion is doing a better job with kills overall so they can not be as far behind and I think we're going to see some very interesting stuff in the middle of that game No one has claimed the Hex Drake just yet. Or I should say Hex Tech Drake, I'm being specific. And there was a bit of a smite battle going on here. And Northern Mission is going to win that smite battle. Poking a lot of damage onto Vi. But here comes the rest of Northern Mission to collapse. Warren's going to pop the ulti. And use it as a way to disengage. All that for a scuttle cap, folks. Molly's yeah. doing a lot of damage onto WSO. Gonna be enough to finish him off. Looking at about a 3,000 gold difference, eight and a half minutes into the game. Not as bad as it was in the previous game. But we are starting to see those CS differentials making a factor. I just had the stranger. Here comes the Irelia ulti. Yuki taking a lot of damage, ends up going down. I rarely take some turret hits, but it's not gonna be enough to finish. Hextech Drake. into the game we are looking at a 4k difference but now that they really secure that drake cloud drake is going to be next up for that Rift Herald. Yuki's gonna get stunned, but 
Don't know if anyone's gonna actually go for that Rakota Scab, letting it reset. College is doing way much more damage than Orn. Gonna pop the ulti. Not so sure if that was necessary. to the Akali, gonna get about two-thirds health. Gonna take a couple of tower hits in the process. Going for a tower dive. Takes another turret hit, but does escape. Now we're seeing a possible fight here in the blue box. In the blue jungle. Lots of damage going left and right. Aurelia is getting pretty low, but Maxi Blue is going to get taken out before the ulti lands. Yuki's going to go down. Jin ult's going to be coming out trying to catch Caitlyn. Probably going to get dove into the tower. Flash away and just barely squeaks the by without dying. So that was a 3 for 0 and they're going to use Rip Herald to try to take care of this tower. And that was the boost that Northern Michigan was looking for. At this point, we're looking at about a 9,000 gold difference. Northern Mission is going to be looking to expand that lead. We have to pop it all. It's a 3v1 situation to try to take down the Irela, and they do get the shutdown. The so much needed gold there. Now we're seeing the rest of Northern Mission coming in. Does not have any vision on the map. Uh, a couple control wards in the blue side. Actually, no, there's one control ward. Never mind. That's going to get spotted out. And there's the Cloud Drake is up. Northern Michigan is all over it. And Marietta may be looking for a possible fight, but they're going to have to back away. There's just not much they can do to contest this. They do get a route onto the pike, but it's not really any follow up. So it will be a free Cloud Drake for Northern Michigan. And the remaining drinks will be infernal. Earn the flash again, and once again, not necessary. We see flashes being used left and right for gauges and disengages. Northern Vision will fall back, but they are putting some deep wars in there and getting control of Marietta's blue side jungle. The entire river is heavily warded. Let's 
Team Rose Vision trying to target that bottom inhibitor, uh, inner tower, sorry. Halty's gonna come out and does get the stun, but no, no follow up. And Northern Vision is using a divide and conquer approach to try to take down the Pioneers, and it is working. Two of the Pioneers are already down, they're looking to try to take down Tripco. Tripo, I cannot pronounce it correctly, I apologize, Bryce. And they will secure that tower and back away. Further expanding their lead to about, looks like 12,000 gold, 16 and a half minutes into the game. And Kali's trying to finish off the orn, but it's going to take a lot of damage to the tower, and the minions has to back away. Trying to re was going to recall, but stop. But probably should have recalled. Now he's going to have to retreat and just give up the uh, the tower. And right now, Northern Bishop just looking to get kills left and right. They're going to try to get the Akali, which is low, but they're going to retreat, seeing that the rest of their condition is underway, looking for a hook, does not connect to the pike. That's what he was looking to try to get a, a root onto the pike, doesn't connect, just only gets minions. Rift Herald is up, but I don't see the Dimension of Thor for it yet. Instead, they're going to be targeting the like, mid-inner tower. There we have Elise going for the Rift Arrow Call. I ain't solo yet. There is trying to defend as much as they can. Probably a couple of minion pitches will be enough to take down that tower. by Northern Michigan. Now they're going to be pushing the way up even more. And Akali's going to be leaping right into the base. But they do take down Radio Boy Kid. Be looking for more. Alter coming left and right. Does stun the Jin, but not before Vi goes down. Akali will fall, but so will Lilia. Jin's going to fall. So people are dying left and right in so many shutdowns. But it's still an ace for... Northern Michigan, and they're gonna pop the Rift Herald for there, and they're gonna see what they can get with that. It's gonna be at least an inhibitor, and they may try to go for more. It looks like that's all they're gonna take. But that Rift Herald did get a third charge, which is a very bad sign. That Nexus Tower is extremely weak. You may see Northern Mission just buying up and they're going to try to do a big push. Looks like Akali's going to burn or teleport to try to get the flank onto the Pioneers. Or at least go for a backdoor strategy, waiting to see for Marion to push out. And Kaelin's going to have to flash away just the sight of Akali. Akali's going straight for the team. And does end up taking up Caitlyn and dashes away to dodge the Nico all. And Nico, uh, no, no. sorry, Akali gets the double kill. Still very low in health, but able to stay alive. And that's going to be the green light for Northern Michigan to continue pushing in this mid lane. Well, continue to push, to push the mid lane, I should say. We're really are trying to get some damage. Has to flash away. One flash is in, but he's going to end up falling. And that's three already down for the Pioneers. And all 
Jensen's are being used left and right to take down the Pioneers. The powers are down. Jen's going to pop the ulti to catch anyone else. Vine's going to go down. Nico's the only one that's left up. And they do take her down. So that is an, uh, that is an ace. There's our is up. He's going to try to use the ulti to get a knockup. But not going to be able to get anything from it. Next is exposed. Ends up going to go down. And another ace. Technically. And with that, Northern Michigan will take the series 0-2. Uh, to two. So the good news is the Pioneers did better this time. But I mean, of course, it's still a lot of work to do. Uh, many of our players are still very new to this game. Uh, learning quite a few things. But it was a better performance than even game one. So you can take that. Um, as kind of a, a moral victory while they're going up against diamond level players. Uh, so there will be another match next month, uh, next Saturday. Uh, we'll know early next week who that opponent is. And once we get the dates and times, all that uh, finalized, we'll get that information out to you on our social media. So for all the latest updates with what's going on with Marietta Esports, please be sure to follow us here on t uh, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all that at Marietta Esports. Thank you all so much for watching, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day.